Now you're creating a nice bit of momentum. And the big thing is you're maintaining your continuity. Continuity is the key. And this is probably an area where we've typically struggled in the past. That's where I know a lot of my clients have, have battled because they start off with good intentions. They do great work one month, two months in even. They're going well and then something happens and they drop off. It can be something very simple like um, something happens at work, you go on a holiday, um, some other big event happens and you put you, puts you out of your sync, puts you out of your, um, your um, um, habit and your progress and it, your schedule's off and, and, and we stop. What we want is to try and avoid that. So what are the things we can use to maintain continuity? and ensure that we are continuing to make progress. Because bear in mind, this is the kickstart, yeah? It's in the name of the title of the, of the, of the program. We want this to lead us on, springboard us on to bigger, better, greater things. And ultimately, when we create the habit, we never wanna stop the habit. It's about continuing, continuing. Now, bear in mind, we could be up and down, from here to here isn't necessarily a straight line, doesn't need to be. Plus, we may go to a point where we're happy, what happens then? We definitely don't stop. We can we can hit, hit a point of maintenance. Now, maintenance is good because maintenance is a bit easier. We don't have to work quite as hard. And by the time we get to the maintenance period, we've been doing it so long that it's becoming an absolute habit. Day to day, everything else is, is, is second priority. So it's not a problem. But we want to get there in due course, Just gradually, slowly. Rome wasn't built in the day, as I always say. So what is the key to that? Well, as with all things in life, we need to be measuring things. Yeah, there's probably not a day goes past in your day to day work where things like KPIs or planning um, progress meetings, this sort of thing do not occur. We need to be hitting key performance indicators. Why? To prove it's working. Um, B, to make sure if it's not working, we can assess areas where it's not, build, develop on them and improve them not leaving it too late and see it's motivating. Absolutely. If we're motivated, we will want to continue. We'll say this is worth doing. I'm actually making progress. So what are some of the areas that we can use um, to ensure we are maintaining that adherence and that continuity? Well, first things first, this portal. Yeah, there's a lot of information in here. There's a lot of articles. There's a lot of good, um, hopefully good mentoring advice revisit the ones yeah there's a different element of your health fitness well-being that i address each day go back to them it's a lot of information to take in reabsorb it the ones that particularly resonate with you check those out again the ones that you're struggling with definitely revisit and there's probably areas that we we um, um are struggling more with they're the ones we need to to, to hone up on revisit them app the app's your second most important area to go into because it's got all the tracking it's got all your programs your workouts and it links hopefully with all your other devices and all the other elements of your program so first of all first things first in the app your program your workout training program so make sure go in each day have a look at what you're doing you should be marking your training as completed um, feel free to put notes in there on things that you um, feelings you had things you maybe were challenged with or things you'd like to, to, to work on in the future. Send that to me. I can have a look at it and we can we can flag that and work on it. But also we want to make sure we're doing it adequately each day. And we have a mix of our cardio, our strength and our endurance. So make sure all three of those programs are being done. Depending on your goals will depend on how much of each of the three you do. Make sure you're not doing 20 sessions of those a week. We want to go easily, yeah, um, particularly if you've not done so much um, consistent training in the past. So have a look at that, um, recap, see where you're at. If you've missed a few sessions, feel free to make them up as long as you're not flogging yourself. But week on week, we improve, we get that continuity. Other simple things like steps. Remember, we can um, count your steps in the app as well. Make sure you are um, linking through your other um, apps and your other smart devices. So make sure your MyFitnessPal is up to date. Very useful, all your nutrition tracking in there. Make sure your Apple Watch or your Fitbit synced in there does all the work for you. Check your steps. We all know that steps count towards your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Go back to the video where I talk about NEAT. 
it's it's free calorie burn if you like it's simple stuff we're doing every day and it's a great way of adding those extra calories even if it's a few um, every hour or um, a few hundred every day it all adds up at the end of the week what else do we need sleep we talked about that a couple of days ago track your sleep you, you know you don't have to wake up and go how many hours i've been asleep use the apps use the use the tools use the um use the smart devices that's what the technology can help us with check what amount of sleep you're getting are we hitting that sweet spot heading towards eight hours yeah um, and check the quality of the sleep are we restless throughout the night or are we getting some good quality deep rem sleep if we're not go back check out my resources i've got some um some resources on stress management um, check the mentoring video on sleep for some top tips to get you moving on that one measurements check your measurements there's no clearer indication of success than your measurements so we're doing the tape measures you can do the skin fold if you want that gives you a bit of an idea on um, on your body fat again that works better longer through time but practice on those your weight as well of course the biggest thing and i mentioned this is your photos progress photos take the photos put them in the app if you want if not have them somewhere where you can check your progress throughout time not just during the um, during the 14 days calorie intake very important you've done your total daily energy expenditure calculation if not go back revisit it there's the um, section in the portal where it does it for you simple calculator put your details in and then ideally you're syncing through with your my fitness pal does the calorie calculation for you if you put your food in and very importantly tracking your macros so we know how much fat we know how much protein we know how much um, um, carbohydrate we're getting in the system and we know if we're on track it's a big big element there we can tweak gradually gradually too many carbs one day not a problem ease it down too much fat the next day again ease it down not much protein we've got the opportunity to tweak tweak daily and we know we can do that rather than at the end of the 14 days going oh I was totally out of whack um, the whole time we make those little progress um, adjustments every day um, progress photos yeah make sure all of the apps and everything are linked in um, that'll really help you other things to check up on are the other resources the, the additional resources in the portal um, and i've linked through on some of the emails as well so the weekly scorecard is key it's simple to do it takes two seconds to fill in we're checking your nutrition uh maximum of five points per day one point for each meal you eat you're going five meals three core meals two interim snacks now these snacks are simple things a handful of nuts a spoon or two of yoga it's just to keep you on track throughout the day up your protein as you need it make sure you're not feeling hungry and make bad choices exercise you've got one point for each of your workouts um uh, so five lots of 30 or 45 minutes per week um, hydration one point each day for drinking half your body weight in ounces sleep one point four between seven and nine hours uh, stress one point um, per day for managing your your um your your um your stress so meditation only has to be 10 15 minutes one point finally planning one point for planning the next day your fat loss strategies your muscle building strategies what we don't want why this is so important is what we don't want is go, to go oh i haven't prepared my food or oh my workout gear is at home where are my trainers I can't train today i can't eat properly do the planning it doesn't take long it'll pay dividends the um the next day so check your current compliance where are you at if you're struggling in certain areas don't beat yourself up yeah we don't need 100 percent. we just need to be making progress tweak 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 we've only been doing it for you know less than two weeks so not a problem these habits take take time to create what's going well pat yourself on the back keep doing it what's um looking like something we can improve or an opportunity to develop again if we're tracking our stats we can see it's not we're not guessing and we can focus on that the next day are you missing workouts are you missing meals use the scorecard so bear in mind we're in the second week now so let's really get on top of that um keep making progress keep um on getting to the habits and that continuity is the key thing that will keep you moving keep you going and help you hit your health and fitness goals once and for all and continue on into the future so i'll leave it there with you revisit this video if you need to check those points i mentioned and most importantly 
stay tuned for the next series and um, all the best. Take care.